Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the stream today. Early stream, I know, I'm aware. But welcome either way. How are we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? I'm out of the shower right now. So... It'd be like that sometimes. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Chat, welcome into the stream today. I hope you guys are having a good day. But, um, hold on. Give me one second to reply to a tweet. <laughs> good morning. Secondaries only? Sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, wait. You might go Steve, though. I need to think about that. <laughs> I need to think about that one for a second. You might go Steve. Oh, gosh. Chat, how are you doing? Tell, talk, talk, talk to me about your morning, chat. Or if it's not morning, what time is it for you? You an Aussie? A European y? European y? <laughs> oh. Alright, I think I'm ready. Let's do this. I met my coach yesterday, nice. I wrecked my truck a few days ago with my girlfriend in the CR. Step into the ring. How about you? Well, I'm very sorry to hear about your truck. Was it totaled or is it salvageable? Trucks, trucks, like the main benefit of trucks in my opinion is having the bed. But also, if you get into a car accident with a truck, you're fucking up the other car way more than the other car is fucking you up. You know what I'm saying? That's the main benefit in my mind. They're safer. I just lost a taillight? Well, there we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. I would have felt really badly if you were like, the engine was destroyed. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> <I'm going to laughs> I would have been like, oh, never mind. I need a new bed. Uh, I see. My dad used to own a truck, and it didn't have a muffler on it. Not because he took it off, just because like it fell off somewhere before he bought it. We use that shit for Boy Scouts and all the time. And whatnot. I'll go Game and Watch. After all, I'm going secondaries, right? He is my secondary. How much does everyone else suck on the 11th seed? I'm going to a tournament with 150 players. I'm not seated 11th. Nice. Lucario. Chat, I fought literally two Lucarios yesterday. Are you kidding me? I literally fought two Lucarios yesterday. How am I fighting more Lucarios? I fought more Lucarios this weekend than I have in my entire life. I didn't, I meant to jump. Be so happy to not see Cyan Game and Watch. Chat, you know what I learned? You know what I learned last time? Or not last time, but I learned it the past few weeks. You know what I fucking learned, right? I learned why everyone uses that skin and or the white skin. I learned why. It's because if you use the Cyan skin or the or the white skin, you can hide like your invincibility frames. You can hide invincibility frames with it. That's why everyone uses it. I'm like, are you kidding me? You mean to tell me people are trying to pick that all like strategically, and it, they just like it's not just like everyone likes it. It's not like the royal guard all for Link, where everyone just unanimously agrees it's the best looking one. You telling me there's like actual strategy? I'm pissed. There's a lot of lag right now. I don't- I'm not a fan. I'm also going to die. Alright, there we go. 
It's like green Captain Falcon in Melee. Yeah, but it's not like a tangible benefit like in that one. With the Cyan and the white alts, it's more just like it's harder to see. So it's not like a real benefit. It's just like the technically optimal, but not really. But that's why people use that all, apparently. I'm like, I like this one because I like red. My first choice of alts is always purple, because that's my favorite color. But my second favorite color is like crimson. So I'll go red afterward. I don't like the lag. The lag is making it really hard. I don't think I've ever lagged fighting Enchanted before. This is uncharacteristic. No way, I love purple. Purple, honestly, a goody color. Purple's the color of royalty, motherfuckers. And crimson is the color of the blood of my enemies. Did you see how I nared like seven times at the beginning of the stock? And it like almost worked. It's just a more colorful black. That is such a beautiful way to describe purple. I agree with you so much. You could honestly say the same about crimson as well. I am kind of mashing a little bit because of the lag. I'm just like, it'll work better. I use maroon Kazuya. That's fair. The only reason I use that, I would use that all is if I wanted to use uh, the shirtless all instead of a suit all. That's the only reason. If I wanted to do my uh, my shirtless men squad strike team, I'm dead. Damn. The lag is really bad, but whatever. Like, it feels rough. Testing my internet real quick? Okay. I got tired of suit Kazuya. That's fair. What are your personal opinion of Kirby and Yoshi in Smash Bros? Kirby's a really good uh, beginner character, but also Kirby's underrated. Yoshi is... Yoshi... Yoshi is somehow overrated and underrated at the same time. I don't know how to feel about it. Howdy, Rister. I am once again asking for some Ganon Dittos when I'm up. You game? I'm always game for Ganon Dittos. Let's be with every character versus your main. Jesus. That'd be long. That's how many characters there are in this game. We doing, we doing like, Echoes? Are we, are we counting Echoes as well? Do I have to fight Samus and Dark Samus? This is one of the matchups of all time. I hate Little Mac. I know. I know. I know, chat. I know. <laughs> I know. Just from me saying that, I can feel your eyes rolling from here. I know. I know, chat. <laughs> Dear fucking god. It's so dumb.
Little Mac is not like I don't know. I hate when people act like Little Mac mains are the second coming of Christ. That's the thing. That's the thing that I find annoying about it. It's not. They're not a people's hero. Shit. I tried to up B and it came out of side B. GG's. I don't actually like playing that matchup with a Game & Watch. For the same reason I dislike playing heavies as a Game & Watch. It's just because like you die for one mistake and it doesn't... That That's like my biggest pet peeve in Smash Bros. Is dying for one mistake at like nothing percent. That's my biggest pet peeve in the game. So it's like that's kind of why I hate fighting Little Mac in heavies as, uh, as Game & Watch. We go next. My character crisis is getting bad. Talk to me about it, IDK. Uh, wait, who is next? In wait. Oh my god, is Enchanted actually next? Or did I just not press next at the beginning of the screen? I just think I didn't press next at the beginning. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't press next at the very beginning. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the next person. Um, ooh, I actually will go in uh, Game & Watch. I actually will go in. I actually will go Game & Watch here. I actually am thinking of counterpicking in this matchup to Game and Watch. I think I think Min Min might actually lose to Inkling. Three, two, one, I don't know. I think it was go. it was either Justice or Skeleton that put out a matchup chart recently that uh, had it as losing for Min Min. And I've played it so much that I'm just oh shit. The thing about this matchup though. I talked to Ploopy about this matchup because I wasn't sure how to play it. Because I tried it out against my local Inkling main without having any matchup knowledge of it. And I didn't I didn't do very well. Like I got my fucking ass handed to me. And I was like, Ploopy, what's the secret of this matchup? Because it's supposed to be really bad for Inkling. And Ploopy told me, the secret to this matchup is you have to camp the fuck out of them harder than you've ever camped in your life. So that is exactly what I'm planning to do. I should always see that runoff fair coming, and I never do. If that's like the inkling thing. I'm not camping hard enough. I just, here's the thing, chat. I'm not good with Bucket, low key. I need to get better with Bucket. Especially in the Rob matchup, and also this one, I think. Because it's just like. The thing about it is that my reaction times are really shitty, actually. If you didn't know. Why did I approach? Why did I do that? Mm. That's fair. Really? I'm making mistakes, chat. I'm making critical mistakes.
Okay. We take those. We take those. If you don't know the Inkling matchup, you always lose it. That's what I was told. Dude, I don't mind going to time. I'll fucking do it. I've heard that the Samus matchup is supposed to be really bad against Inkling. And I've been considering swapping out my Aegis for Samus. But I don't know. I'm still debating it. And by that, I mean in, like, my squad strike lineup. But he, the thing is, like, I don't want to... I don't know. It's it's complicated. Because Samus doesn't actually cover any bad matchups that um, Aegis, like, does cover. Like, ZSS is the big one. ZSS is pretty much the only reason I would ever use uh, Aegis in singles. Other than, I think, me Brawler... Am I dead here? How did I almost die there? Am I dead? Oh, I might be. Woo! Okay. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Mr. Damon Watch wins! It seems you need to be in the air more. Inkling is interesting, in my opinion. I agree. Uh, Inkling literally can't use their splat bomb. Or, uh, yeah, well, I need to react to it more, though. Samus will take you three seconds to learn. I already have a Samus, chat. Did you forget my Samus? I used to be a Samus man. Inkling, uh, can't Inkling use your down special and go to town on the opponents? Uh, the bomb? That's your down special. Not Pika as a valid option, except you have to start from zero. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to pick up a character that I've never played before. I want to use one of the ones I already know how to play. I think I think trying to pick up a character that I've never played before is a bad idea. Even if I've just like remotely put a little bit of time into learning them, I want to use them over like someone I've never played. I say you should just because you play a lot to matchup check characters and Samus definitely fits the bill. You know what? You're right about that. You're actually right about that. Uh, this is... just want to say good job on the recent vids. They released just in time for One, breakfast here. Go. Oh, Shan, ID? Is that Indonesia? Uh, very convenient. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I love having, like, international videos. Uh, international videos. That's always one of the coolest feelings. One of the things I really, I really appreciate is whenever I do a, um, a video... Like, an international video on a country that doesn't get a lot of representation. Most recently, it was the uh, Dominican Republic with the uh, Claro Gaming video. I, it really, like... Like, that region doesn't really get a lot of attention other than Sonics and Capitancito. So, like, me covering the entire top eight and whatnot... Like, the people were really appreciative of that. And it happens every time I cover, like... A, like a European country or something, or when I covered China, Pearl 2, or Indonesia's Ace High. Indonesia Ace High was actually one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Just because, like, the fact that the TOs heard I was making a video about it and, like, provided me with everything I could have asked for and, like, wished me luck on it, I've never had an experience like that before. I was like, oh my god. And everyone was so appreciative that like I, I covered and that's why I really love covering lesser known regions because the people from those regions are always so appreciative of it it's it's a really good feeling
I gotta be careful about uh, my upbeats or my downers. Oh, piss. Okay. That's me, Indonesia. Good to hear. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm touching shield too much. Damn, I'm trying to do drag down Nair, uh, down smash, but I'm actually not able to. Sure. That's not what I meant to press, but, uh... You know. Yeah. Fuck, I, I, I air dodged. I air dodged and I shouldn't have done that. If I don't air dodge, I live there. We're gonna have our first Halloween tourney this Saturday. 3v3 crews, people in costumes, hope it'll go well. That's fun. I'm actually going to a tournament next Saturday um, called Fighting Ghosts Screamland, where like it's gonna be like kind of Halloween themed. I'm gonna switch character to Min Min. I enjoyed the Dominican Republic and the Pearl vid. They're they're really fun to do. You're a counter picker. That seems so that like that. Dude, why why'd you phrase it like that? <laughs> but I am. You're semi new, except with Pika, you've got like only one losing matchup, and that's Game and Watch. It's like if I I don't know I might if I fight Bloopy again in bracket I might try dittoing him. But I, honestly, I think that matchup is even with Min Min, so I'm probably just gonna probably just gonna go Min Min either way. Just because I think that matchup is even. And also, I was able to take a game from Floopy and Friendlies. It was more of a training session than like an actual like grind session. Because he was giving me like advice the whole time. Especially about like play, uh, Game & Watch. Because Floopy, Floopy and I both agree my Game & Watch. Like it's fine, but it's not as good as it should be. For like how reportedly easy of a character he is. We're both kind of like, yo, I kind of suck ass in the game and watch. He's like, how are you messing up Nair, Nair, Nair? And I'm like, I don't fucking know, bro. Game and watch is a little like alien to me. I don't really know, like, like, I mess up a lot of stuff with them. Damn, I really thought I could make that back. Like, I mess up a lot of Game & Watch stuff. He's kind of, he doesn't really click with me, but I want to make him work really badly. Because I like him. And he's really good. And I can, I, I recognize both of those things. So instead of, like, giving up for someone that, like, clicks easier, like Samus, I'd rather just work it out. Who do you main? I'm a min min min. How long have you been maining Game & Watch? Uh, I, okay, here's the thing. I kind of, I mained Game & Watch for a few months and then I swapped over to min min, but I'm keep, I have Game & Watch as my secondary still. I just discovered I had more fun with min min. I tried to make solo min min work for a while. But then I realized that A, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> that, like, A, it was gonna be really hard to do that, and B, it wasn't even worth it. Why would I do that to myself? Like, I remember, like, I was fighting, I don't even remember who it was. But it was like a losing matchup or something. Like, something, something really bad, like Men and I or something. And I'm like, I'm trying to make it work with Solo Min Min, and I'm just like, fuck it. And I go Sonic, and I'm sweeping, and I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I doing this to myself? It's so easy to counterpick in these losing matchups. So I think I'm just gonna try and make it work with both of them. And then also, I like playing Squad Strike. And I wanna be able to play more Squad Strike. 
so hell. If I need more characters anyways for that, you know what I'm saying? Why not? It's not like I would otherwise be a solo man. Or like, it, it's not like I would otherwise only ever play one character. I play multiple characters all the time. Like, why am I forbidding myself to do it in actual bracket? Like, actual skills. Uh-oh. That's it. Ah, uh, GG's, GG's. That was, I was getting a little nervous, second stock. You should play Kazuya. I have no Kazuya experience. And I really struggle with the inputs, so I don't think it's worth it. Talent? Lol? Ooh. Sorry about that, man. I, what, what, I mean, what can I say? Shit. <laughs> I like this character, man. Be like that. What region are you from? Kansas City. Strongest region in the world, baby! Kansas City! Let's go. Kansas City is the GOAT. We do, we do BO3s, Zabby. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I have a feeling this might go ugly. <laughs> we, we, we gotta go next. You're not far? Lucky you? Oh, there you go. But yeah, I got Despade and Rocky in my region. I lost to Rocky in my last local. I got you, GG's. GG's, man, GG's. I lost to Rocky my my last local, but he was going Wii Fit Trainer. He wasn't going Pac-Man. Uh, I took it last stock every game, but I still got 3 0 so. I'm still proud that I took it last stock. I'm not winning because I've been getting bored with every character. I know how that feels. Maybe you should just main random. Chat, you know what I you know what I actually think would be an amazing idea? You know what I think would be an, a phenomenal idea, right? What if there was a player? who literally played every character in the game, but like their character that they went on in each set depended on who you played. So let's say, let's say they're fighting a Wolfman, they go Rob, because that's Wolf's worst matchup. Let's say they have to fight a Min Min main, they go Meta Knight, because that's Min Min's worst matchup. Like, what if there was a player that just counterpicked every single person with that character's worst matchup? Could you imagine? Yeah, who'd you play against Zachary? Exactly. Then you kind of get into that pickle. But I think that'd be a really cool, like, gimmick idea. Like, I don't know. I just think it'd be fun for a player to do that. Three, two, one, go! Like, like, players play this game with gimmicks sometimes. There's that Fox player who literally doesn't have a shield button. There's that Fox player who literally refuses to shield. So, if we're gonna play with, uh, if we're gonna have, like, gimmick people who play in brackets like that, then why not? Why not, right? Up, by the way. I fought like three jokers yesterday. I don't know what the hell happened with the arena in here, but everyone ev everyone felt like going joker in here. That's so badass. The ultimate counter picker. Exactly. <laughs> Talking about it like it's a Danganronpa talent. <laughs> I'm the ultimate counter picker. And it does like the little graphic. Sorry. If this is how you found out that I've played all three of those games, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, if that joke was how you found out that I've played all three of those, all four actually, of those games, then I apologize. <laughs> Gosh, if you were back when I played those games on Twitch, what a, what a, what a time to be alive, huh? I love it when counters don't work against me. It's one of my favorite feelings. It's like, yeah, you you should you should have you should have get the counter there. You correctly predicted my attack, but I said no. That was a good rebel guard though. No joker today. I'm a counter picker in melee. That would actually work really well because with that game. 
you would really only have to worry about like a few characters, right? Because everyone's worst match, like every low tier's worst matchup is Fox. You know what I'm saying? Every like low to mid tier's worst matchup is Fox. And then it's like you basically only have to play like four characters at that point. So that would actually, that actually would be a much better, they'd be more realistic to do in melee, but it would be more impressive in ultimate. I want to start like a secondary Star GG account where I do that. Man. I think that'd be so funny. I'd be like Genghis Wan. I should have just gone with Dragoon 2 frame because it was a regrab. But I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking straight. I keep thinking about men. Sorry, that was a terrible. Hi, yeah. You're dead. Nice. Game one. My girlfriend broke up with me, and for like six months, all I did was play melee and not eat. Damn, bro. <laughs> what a. That, I don't want to say that's relatable, but like, what a mood. But that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> if this counter picker is against a low tier that has multiple minus fives, would they roll a dice or something? Or would they walk up to a guy and ask about what matchup they want? Here's the thing. They would use my Google document that I made about every character in Smash Ultimate's worst matchup. They would use my Google document that I made specifically maybe for that purpose. <laughs> they use my Google Doc. It's in my pinned tweet. Please use it in tournament. I think it's really, I think it's, I think it's actually, I put, a, I put six hours into that, man. Three, I spent six two, hours working on that. One, go. And I might spend more because there's still some characters I'm really unsatisfied with. Like, I need, I, I want to get like a proper answer for Lucario. And I need another top Mario player to make a new matchup chart. They haven't made one since like 2019. I need a Mario main to, to make one. Like a like a like a top tier Mario main, bro. Like gimme Karama. If Karama made a matchup chart, my Mario problems are solved. With for that Google Doc. What do you think of this matchup? I think it's even. I th but I think uh, lasers are annoying. But like there's counterplay. If you're a wolf, I do think your best bet in this matchup is to camp with laser. But there is counterplay because down tilt goes underneath lasers. So you gotta play it kinda wacky. I'm not sure, I, I don't know. I've considered counterpicking with Game & Watch in this matchup, but I haven't yet. Cause I still, cause I think, cause I think Game & Watch Wolf and Min Min Wolf are both even. I think they're both even matchups. Although I know some wolves disagree with me. He's done. You're done! Okay, not done. Shit. <laughs> Gotta apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. Okay. Who's Game & Watch's worst matchup? In my opinion, it's Zero Suit Samus. But a lot of people will tell you Shulk. Either way, not characters you're likely to find very often. Although, although, Min Min does lose to ZSS, I think, kind of. It might be even very optimistically, though. I actually, I actually think I didn't put it, oh, that's unfortunate. I actually think I didn't put it as losing in my most recent matchup chart. But that's because that one was optimistic as fuck. Nobody plays those characters. Here's the thing. I, I was gonna main Min Min. I like her, but ended up being Game Watch main instead. I think Game Watch is a really solid pick. Game Watch is easier than Min Min. Game Watch is better than Min Min. Game Watch wins more matchups than Min Min. I just like Min Min more.
I I would say that Game of Watch is more bullshit than Min Min, but I actually don't know about that one. It's it's a it's a hard it's a hard one. Oh. Yeah, they're not jumping in that position. Oh damn, that's unfortunate. GG's, GG's. Have you seen the picture of Skinny versus MK Leo in black and white? It's so tough. I haven't seen that. Game of Watch has the fast smash attacks. Yeah. Who's Min Min's worst matchup? People debate. Uh, the big three are Meta Knight, Puff, and Sheik. People will usually pick one of those three matchups to put as Min Min's worst. Me personally, I think I'm a Meta Knight believer myself. I think I'm a Meta Knight believer. Do you care if I send it to you? Go ahead. Go ahead. I think Meta Knight is Min Min's worst. Cause like I think Meta Knight in the turn in the in the context of fighting Min Min. I think Meta Knight is actually just better Puff. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Meta Knight's got a better combo game than Puff. But Edge Guard's just as well. You know what I'm saying? So I think Meta Knight's worse. So yeah. Alright, we go next. I only got Min Min because my friend had arms. <laughs> Fair. Min Min's a weird character. Alright chat. Oh, there's Peachy in my DMs. That that does go hard. That does go hard. Oh, hop on Ganon fool! Sorry, sorry, Tate. Hop on Ganon. Better hang up that computer call. <laughs> and hop on Ganon. I'm feeling disrespectful. <laughs> Mennonite and Shulk. Oh, Sheik. Not Shulk. Sheik. Sheik. Will I use those? Did you just try? I need to pick up Wolf again. Wolf is a good character. Uh, he's a little, like, he's becoming a little bit meta irrelevant, but, like, I, Wolf is still solid. He just loses against a lot of um, meta relevant characters, like Rob, Three, and Steve. Two, like those are those th one, those are rough go. those are rough losing matchups to both have. Uh oh. I like how we both picked the same all. By the way, really makes it not confusing at all. Worth, worth, worth. Ganon even a Captain Falcon clone? Uh, it's because Melee had a really strict time schedule. They didn't have a lot of time to make Melee. Uh, so they wanted to include Ganon, but they didn't have enough time to make him his own character, so they made him a clone. If, if Ganon hadn't been a clone, then he wouldn't have been in Melee. So I'd rather take his inclusion than not, you know, but... But at the same time, I wish they had taken some care in Ultimate to rework him. They already gave him better smash attacks, like, why stop there? I got cooked? That's just the nature of the Ganon ditto. It's so volatile. Like, I, I bet you I'm about to get cooked in this game, too. And then we'll go game three, and it'll be last hit. But one of us is going to make an insane comeback against the other. And it's going to be crazy hype. I promise you that's what's going to happen. Like, I'm feeling it already. 
That was good ass shit, man. I was like, I know they want to get again inside. That's so sad. I respected so much. I respected so much, but it was so sad. Oh my God. That was so tragic. GG's, GG's. I sauced too hard. A little bit too hard that time, Jay. A little bit too hard. A little bit too hard, man. GG's, GG's. Man. What a game. <laughs> God. I love Ganondorf. He was my main for all of pre uh, all of pre-COVID Smash. He, he, I, I mained him for 2018, 2019, and like the first month of 2020. First two months. And then after COVID happened, I didn't play any Smash ever until in-person competition return. And by that point, I had basically like been retired-ish. So I was basically starting from a blank slate anyway. So I was like, let's play a character that's not the worst in the game, shall we? Grayson, you're next. Hey, can I join? Of course! Exclamation mark join to hop into the queue. Uh, once we get in an hour into the stream, we will close the queue. Or maybe even after this set, actually. I think after this set, we'll close the queue. I say this matchup is losing for Minmin. I do like the trans rights Wario skin. You'll never be able to convince me that that's not what this is. I've claim I, we, we, we've claimed it. That's what the skin is now. I think I like the idea of like trying to make your hitbox last longer with the bike there. Oh, I was really hoping you just like drop down to the flat. Touch my shield, I dare you. Really taking some good advantage of uh, Smash for a Just a slightly inadvisable bike. Or bite, not bike. I'm keeping the bike over here at this point. I actually don't want them to have access to it. I was a little bit mistimed on my, uh, my ram ram. That one's my bad. I can make it back. Nope. <laughs> I didn't mean to, like, the air dodge was unfortunate. It was buffered. And I was like, don't panic. Your upbeat can still reach. But no, I cannot. I gotta be really careful. As long as I just take this stock right now, I'll be in a good spot. Being an entire stock up on Wario is basically an even game. 
think they're saving Waft for last star. At this point, yeah, I would. That's what I would do too, right? But that was a good bite. See, I can delay my hitboxes with your bike as well. I just looked over at chat for a little bit for the first time since beginning this game. Why are we talking about Coke flavors? How did the conversation get there? Like, I'm not mad about it. That's an interesting ass conversation, but like, how did that happen? Got the bike in the bike. The bite of 87? Chat, who's seen the FNAF movie this time? I am. Uh oh. I'm like, I think I'm dead. Ooh, really? That's like the entire stage. Why am I surprised that Min Min's F Smash reached like the entire length of Smash Bros? That's it. GG's. We go game two. We go game two. Quiet, mister, you focus on the match. We're investigating Coke opinions. Chat, I like vanilla Coke. I like vanilla Coke, chat. But like, I typically, here's the thing. Here's the thing. My soda opinions don't really matter that much anymore because I stopped drinking soda or I've like massively decreased my soda intake. I literally have a soda right over there ready for me to drink when I finish my coffee, but I've massively decreased my soda intake because it's bad for you. So. I like vanilla Coke, but here's the thing. I've never met a Coke flavor I didn't like. <laughs> Chat, you want to know my pick though? You guys are gonna think me crazy for this. Everyone in chat is arguing about vanilla and cherry and like normal flavors, right? Wanna know my favorite Coke flavor? Lime. Yeah, yeah. It's more out there than all y'all. It's more out there than every single thing else you guys have brought up. I'm a Coke lime enjoyer. Yeah. Yeah! What do you guys think about that, huh? Look at me being controversial. It's really just because I fucking love limes. It's- it's- I actually eat limes, chat. It's the reason why I get so many canker sores in my mouth. I eat limes. Have you guys ever- have you guys ever- have you guys ever eaten a lime before? I have. I love them. I fucking love limes. I've eaten lemon flesh. Like the entire lemon. But lemons aren't my favorite. Limes are. I put limes in everything I can. Never eaten a lime? You guys probably wouldn't like it. But I'm an acidity enjoyer. I'm like Adam Ragusi out here. Except instead of white wine, I just put lime juice in everything. And then I'll eat the flesh. I don't eat the lime skin though. Like I've eaten lemon skin and been like and like, oh I can see how like that'd be nice. But I but lime skin is not. Lime skin's too tough. But lemon skin is like soft. And like it tastes like it, it's lemon zest. It's lemon zest, you know? But like lime skin you wouldn't want to eat. It's too tough. You you have to zest it. Favorite candy? Butterfingers. No, actually. Chad, this is controversial. I think it might actually be like Almond Joy. I like coconut a lot. But Butterfingers are really good too. That's like my favorite candy bar. I don't know. I'm typically not picky about candy. I don't I don't I don't have a single candy I dislike. You want to know what I think is a, uh, a hidden pick, though, chat? Paydays. I think paydays are underrated as hell. I think they're actually pretty nice. They've got a really good mix of sweet and savory. Sweet and salty. 
the peanuts on them. I think I think they're actually really delectable. Almond Joy is a mom candy? Well, maybe I'm pregnant. To be fair, I actually like mounds are also really good too. I hate chocolate. That's fair enough. My sister thinks that she's allergic to chocolate. We're not sure about the validity of it, but she doesn't eat chocolate. Milk duds are amazing. I like milk duds. I like how chewy they are. I like chewy things. Chat, that's the thing. I like chewy things. All my stress goes to my jaw. When I'm in class, I have to be chewing gum or else I just start tearing up my lips with my teeth. I, I, like, I dig into my lips and I just start ripping them apart with my teeth, right? I freeze gummy bears. That might be the weirdest thing you've ever heard. I freeze gummy bears because I like how chewy and hard they are. It takes me such a Herculean effort to tear apart a frozen gummy bear. And I like it because my jaw has to work so hard. It's evil. Okay, who's next? Wario does neutral. <laughs> Mister does Wario's neutral be IRL. <laughs> nah, no, for real though. You see my you see my fangs? Oh, it is Garrett. Okay, you see my fangs, chat. This is one part about me that no one ever comments on. I got sharp as fuck bangs. Chat. You see those motherfuckers? I got sharp as fuck bangs, bro. It's crazy. Oh, sorry. Rister is Vampire Wario. Thank you, bro. Ladies like it when I actually I'm gonna stop that sentence. I'm actually not going to finish that sentence. But the men also like it when I okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop chat. I'm gonna stop. Chat. Let's go, boys. Jump scare? A little bit of a jump scare, yeah. Hiya. Hiya. I fight killing bats so often. Like, I still think this matchup is losing, but goddamn, I'm experienced in it. True on the moon. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Sebi literally hit me with the. What do you mean by that? I think I might want to try going Game & Watch game too, just because I want more experience in Game & Watch form. Like, I think that matchup, here's the, th ah, god, here's the thing, Corrin might actually be a character who Min Min and Game & Watch both lose to. I'm not entirely sure yet. But Corrin might actually be one of the characters who both of my characters lose to. ZSS is the big one, but Corrin might be another one. I think I think the three right now that I've been considering so far are like definitely ZSS, maybe me Brawler, and maybe Yoshi. But I don't know if I consider Yoshi losing for either Game & Watch or Min Min. It's just that I know some people do. Uh, but Corrin might actually be the third character that both Game & Watch and Min Min lose to. But here's the thing, all three of the characters I just talked about, they're covered by Aegis. But I also think they might be covered by Samus. 
No, ZSS not. Not ZSS. ZSS beats Samus. Nice. And Game & Watch? Game & Watch loses to Game & Watch? So true, that's it. Min Min's a monster next to Steve? Really? I think Min Min is like high, high tier. I have a problem with her being top tier though. I think she is top 15. But like, I think I think the most optimistic you could be about the matchup is that she's top 10. Or the most optimistic you could be about the character. I think the most optimistic placement for Min Min is number 10. I don't think she's any higher than that though. I think she is like exactly number 10. Or like has potential to be exactly number ten. Corn is an underdog character at this moment in time. Three, Just brush her down. Go. Is what with a game launcher? Or, or what, what, which match should be targeting right now? I meant rush down Min Min. Here's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, my character beats Min Min. Because when they get because when I get in, and I'm like, I'ma stop you right there. You mean if. You mean if. There are a lot of people who think they beat Min Min who don't. Min Min's kind of like become the Falcon of the DLC characters. When I play, you play Game Watch? Okay. I knew you were gonna do that, but I can't punish it. Fire is bad. God, the lag is not that good right now. The lag is really bad. I don't think I'm gonna get in there. I know I'm gonna get in there. Yeah, well, you play uh, Greninja. Greninja is actually like a losing matchup for Min Min because Greninja can get in easier than most of the cast. In order to beat Min Min, you can't just like have a decent combo game and decent edge guarding ability and decent potential to get in. In order for you to have a winning matchup against Min Min, you have to do one of those things, or more importantly, multiple of those things, better than a majority of the cast. Greninja gets in and has a good combo game better than the, like a wide portion of the cast. In the context of fighting Min Min. I think Sheik and Greninja are pretty identical when it comes to fighting Min Min. It's kind of like fighting the same character. Seph's movement is good. I think Seph loses to Min Min just because Sephiroth relies a lot on range and Min Min now ranges him. Same, it's the same reason why Min Min beats Byleth. <laughs> How can Meta Knight defeat Min Min? Uh, because Meta Knight's combo game is extremely good. His ladder combos are phenomenal. Uh, Meta Knight also has good potential to get in because of his uh, aerial drift. It's really good. Uh, and Meta Knight combo uh, edge guards. Uh, Meta Knight edge guards Min Min really well. I think just as well as Puff, if not better. Oh my God! I'm 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 messing everything up. I'm messing, I'm messing it all up, chat. I haven't played this character in, like, not Squad Strike for so long.
This song is a good one. This song is great. Alright, champ. Bro has the I want to win lineup. I mean, do you not want to win? Hey, to be fair, I picked up Min Min because I was like, man, this character's bullshit. I really, I really want to cheese people. But then the more I played her, the more I actually started really enjoying her. So, it's crazy. You play to win the game. That's so true. Uh, wait, did the next go through? I don't think the next went through. Any tips on what sticks out as bad in my play? I'd focus more on I focus more on combos. Like Corrin has a really good combo game just from going like fair to fair to fair to fair up air and shit. Like if you learn those combo routes, that's your next step in my opinion. That that's your next step. What's Rob's best matchup? Rob plus two is like a lot of characters, so it, I, 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 there's like tw there's like twenty different characters I could say in response that would be valid to that question. Coward, I play to make the other guy look good. That's so funny. Oh, killing bats next. Killing bat. Killing bats next. Ganon. Yeah, probably. That's probably a fair answer to that. Killing bat. Oh god, here we go. Ready? Okay. Yo, 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 Garrett. You asked for advice in your uh, corn play? Watch Killing Bat. Take take some notes from Killing Bat. Take some notes wherever you can. I this is the corn I play all the time. Not even the Molduga music buff may be enough to help me. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Anymore. I'm still unsure how to get out of that. I think if you're too close up like that, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to, like, angle my shield or something, right? died at 69. I did die at 69. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna switch. That matchup is bad. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wish there was a simple answer. Winning is indeed fun. I agree. Like, this matchup has the potential to be really bad, too, is the problem, you know? Like, so I don't know. Oh, 
Oh! Wasn't expecting me to live there. The problem is, I you you actually have a really hard time challenging Game Watch or like using Game Watch down air in this matchup. Because corn up air, if it's spaced properly and timed properly, can challenge it and it will kill. At like stupid percents. Already doing better than I did with my huh? I think the matchup is better for Game and Watch than it is for Minmin, but it's still gotta be like even at best. Everything froze. Oh my god. Everything froze and I'm still alive. I don't know how I did it. I'm dead. Not yet, my godlike DI. Okay, let's go game three. Woo! Okay. Chat. It really is, it do be a matchup thing sometimes, huh? You don't have to commit as hard when Mimin presses a button that if they have a read, you're a lot more open. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Mind me skipping on the list? Oh, mind skipping me? I'll return, just give me a sec. They might be back by the time the set's over. We take those indeed. We take those indeed. Three, two, Let's just see if I can do it again. One, That's all that matters. That was good, that was good.
clashed with down air? That was nowhere near down air. How did my down smash clash with that? What? Okay, okay, okay. Gotta be careful not to get back aired there. <clears throat> Shit! Oh my god. Damn, 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 damn. Just gotta be careful right now, that's all. Can't die to nothing stupid. It's good. That was good. What can I say? Chat, say what you will, you can't say my parries aren't sick. Yes, dude, let's go! Yes, dude! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god! Alright, chat, I'm gonna go ahead and close the queue for right now. Because we are an hour in. I should have done it 19 minutes ago and I forgot. I just realized. I forgot. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's fucking go, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Okay. Let me let me pull up the list as well. Oh my god. I'm in shatters. <sighs> oh well now I know who I'm gonna go next time we meet offline, huh? Or yeah, offline. Who's your favorite game watch player? Is it basic to say Mia? It, like, like, are there any others though? Like, it, like, like, what's my competition? Actually, Ploopy. That's so right. I forgot about Ploopy. What the hell? Oh my god, Ploopy. I really need to stop playing every other character until I get this back. <laughs> it's crazy. Parafish is up. I return. This is Para. Parafish, is this you? Let's do this. Oh god, how do you forget about Ploopy? I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. Choose your fighter. Min -min. You've reawoken the demon. Well, I, I'll... I tried my heart out, man. I want to beat you offline so bad. I want to win a JCCC local, bro. Sadly. One, go. That this is the most common male Robin skin, I think. Like I don't see you don't see male Robin often, but when you do, they're using this skin. It's a pretty decent skin. I like the purple inside the blue. That's pretty dope. Elfinger. 
Okay, I see what's happening. I don't play this matchup very often. I know it's supposed to be really good for me. But... Oh, man. I keep getting hit by the stray spells because I'm in the end lag of an arm. Which is probably the intent. I just gotta play a little smarter, I'm good. Also improve my SDI. Because I was able to SDI at Arc Fire right there. Okay, it's out of Arc Fires. Okay, they like to jump. Okay, that's it. Nice. Good morning, Clint. How are you doing? I'm back. Welcome back. My name is Smash Bros. Channel. All right, game two. I just got home. Where'd you come from? The 11 aerials? I need to get better at certain things. I need to figure out how to get past this ledge trapping, man. This ledge trapping is really fucking good. And then as soon as I get past it, I'm kind of just like, alright, I'm good now. And I don't have any more problems in the matchup. My only problem at the moment is uh, finding a way past this ledge trapping. Nice. I almost lived that. My DI is godlike, chat. I'm kind of jumping over a lot of the spells right now. I should try to reflect them, but my reaction time is pretty shit. Oh, 
especially online. Trying to finish this up right now. That's it. Hey, GG's, GG's. Nice. Let's go, chat. Let's go. That's a cute picture of a raccoon finger painting. Anyways, we go next. This song is so good. This song is such a good one. GG, none of my characters beat Min Min. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like Min Min is definitely a like a matchup based character, but also it like you can you can beat the Min Min matchup with almost any character. I've actually lost Little Mac versus Min Min every time I've played it offline. I've never won a set against the Little Mac offline. Isn't that crazy? And it's like yeah, I'm telling on myself a little bit, but like it, it like you 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 can you can beat Min Min with any character in the game. I almost lost versus a uh, Ganon the other day. It was, it was this close. It was game five. But game five itself wasn't that close because I figured out what to do. I started grabbing more. That was the secret. I started grabbing more. I adapted, chat. I fucking adapted. Call me a one-trick pony if you want, but I adapted. Three, two, one, go! FD coming into clutch right now, by the way. Just saying. FD is clutch as fuck. Why did he go that way? Why? What? That doesn't make any sense. It was on homing still, wasn't it? I was not that way. What happened? Oh no, the buffer dare. That was, that was two SDs in a row. We take the fuck out of those. Oh my God, we take those so hard. Sora's counter is actually not that bad against Min Min. Like it doesn't hit very often, but Sora's counter interrupts attacks, which other counters don't do. So it is actually still pretty good because unlike other counters, when Sora's counter misses, you don't get hit by the other arm because it interrupts the attack animation like that like if that was if that was Lucina's counter I could have followed up with Ram Ram afterwards and gotten a kill right there but because it was Sora's counter I couldn't I hated Ices until I figured out how to beat him Min Min is definitely one of those characters if you don't have a game plan against Min Min you just get blown the fuck up don't charge at Min Min without a game plan that is exactly what I want you to do that's my one advice to every single person in here. Don't just charge at Min Min without a game plan. Ready? I am waiting for you to do just that. I will grab you, I will back throw you, and you will die at zero. Because I read your jump. Or something crazy like that, I don't know. Ready? All right, chap. My Min Min game plan is ledge trap. In your ledge trapping was really good. So. That was like the thing about your gameplay I was looking at and I was like, damn, I'm not sure how to, I'm not really sure what to do in this position. Every other time though, I knew, I, I was like, okay, I get it. But when I was being, when I was on ledge, I was like, I'm not sure what the fuck I do here. Oh, 
Everything else, though, I had on lock. That was good. Seeing a little bit of what's happening. I'm seeing a little bit of what's like I'm, I'm picking up on some stuff. I didn't mean to do that rollback. That was my bad, man. This is this is one of those matchups where it's it's it, it is kind of volatile though. Because this is one of those matchups where it's like, oh, if they get in, you lose, but if they never get in, you win. It's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's just kind of one of those matchups. I think Sora's pretty good at edge guarding Minmin, but not as good as some other characters. Yes, I did just try to edge guard Sora as Min Min. What of it? I knew the shield poke was coming. They were shielding a ton. Holy shit. I am shocked I'm alive. In general, trying to air dodge through Min Min's attacks is not a good idea. In, in, in general. I'm lucky. I'm lucky my dragon uh, f tilt missed. I'm catching on to a little, a few things. I'm catching on to a few things. Mostly, every time Freezy counters, there's another counter coming soon. Freezy doesn't just counter once. If Freezy counters, they're probably gonna try and counter again. Hey, GG's, GG's, GG's. I wasn't able to punish the thing I noticed about the counters, but I noticed it either way. Oh, we go next. Nice. We're chilling. We chilling, bro.
I hate being slow. Yeah. Uh, Zabiyuri, you're up again? Wait, really? Oh, they were the player from earlier. Right, right, right. I, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, is it Inkling? Don Grumpa 2 music? Yes, it is. Maybe I'll try Min Min for game one. I don't know. It depends on who they go. <laughs> it depends. Let's see. I'll, I'll try game one with Min Min. I'll try it. Let's do it. Min does not tolerate slow characters. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. That was a good jump there. Mm. Inkling's combos are actually really fucking good, chat. But it's online. I'm thinking like the difference between online and offline might actually be enough to make this matchup even. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Because I'm like, yeah, the combos are really what makes us great for Inkling. But how many of them can you get online? That's an evil thought, chat. It's a very evil, sinister thought that I had. But let's we'll see if it's true, eh? I definitely would rather play Min Min if I can get away with it. You know, I really only bring out the Game & Watch when I feel like I have to. Like, matchup-wise. Like, this, the, the, the set with Killing Bat. I got three stocked game one with Min Min Chat. And then won both games after with Game Watch. I I had to counterpick. That was that was a situation where I felt like I had to do it, you know. Yeah, I'm dead. Take, I take those every day of the fucking week. I'm not entirely sure what happened, to be 100% honest with you. I think I just kind of fast fell and died. But they were really dedicated to trying to edge guard me. And they followed me just literally into the blast zone. I think that's what happened there. It was absolutely an accident. But you better believe I'm going to call it a bait. I really want to get good at two framing that recovery. My my two frames are like not that good, so I need to work on them. Yeah, okay, I can do that matchup with Min Min online. Inkling pressure, I swear to God, is better than Game Watch. I don't know about that. Hey, warps. I'm sorry about that, warps. I apologize. We're, we got a big line to get through today, so I ended up closing it a bit early. But how are you doing today, man? What's Mario's worst matchup? I think it's Snake. I am pretty sure the consensus I got was uh, Shulk from the from everyone I asked. I'm pretty sure people think it's Shulk. You know? That's the best plant wall, by the way, Jai, in case you were wondering. This is a weird matchup. Already I feel weird about it. Bruh. 
Bro, you play both characters that made grand finals at Warp Zone too. Isn't that isn't that wacky crazy? Dude, why is Patui one of the best anti airs in the game? Riddle me that, Batman. Up throw? Yeah, I knew I shouldn't do that. I knew I shouldn't do it. How the fuck did I survive that shit? Like, holy fuck. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. What a weird matchup. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Gotta be careful. That's so interesting that it clanks. Plant is really good. Here's the thing, when I'm faced with that down B, I think I'm gonna have to bait it out instead of trying to clank with it. Cause like even Megawatt clanks with it. It's got that much armor on it. So I think I just need to wait for it and punish it after the fact instead of trying to contest it. I think trying to contest it is a bad idea at this point. Damn. That was a good delay with the up B. Yeah, no, that was good, that was good. Ooh, ooh. We're both, we're both desperate for a kill. I can feel it. God, plant is so heavy. That's dead. Okay, I was like, it has to be dead has to be. Shit. Damn, that was good. Good angle. to drop through plat. My hands are sweating. Yeah, shouldn't have gone for that. God, I didn't realize. It feel it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like I know by the score that this isn't like even or anything right now. God, that felt much closer than it was. All right, GG's. That felt way closer than it was. Plant's scary, dude. Plant is scary. Plant has that Ganon factor where it's like you don't want to lose to Plant, you know. Jesus. Plant down be a strange move. It requires a specific set of conditions to punish it. I agree. Please don't try and parry it. Oh, God. I've seen people make that mistake before. We're, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. My hands are so sweaty. My God. It's like a plus two matchup, and I'm over here freaking out about it. That's crazy. That happens a lot. If there's one thing I do really well, it's lose winning matchups. <laughs> Thank you.
Like Bowser. Like Bowser. Liked Bowser, man. I lose to Bowser so often. Oh my god. Freaking Eeps. Freaking Eeps, man. I'm coming for you, Eeps. Not in that way. I don't know you like that, but like, he's next, all right? I gotta beat him, man. I have demons. I have demons I gotta beat. Big M, Eeps, Mattoon. I gotta beat them all. I gotta beat them all. But yeah, who is next? It didn't do the next yet. I don't have to go blow my nose soon, then. Hold on, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yep, there we go. Damn it, you're next. All the Bowsers in this region are crack addicts. They just go for stuff. Reading out his death list right now. I know, right? If all those people go missing. <laughs> then it wasn't me. Especially Kyoto Hawk, love that guy. I almost beat Kyoto Hawk in a, a heavyweight bracket with my Ridley. I don't know what the hell happened that day, man. I was it was last hit and I SD'd. Oh. Here we go, Joker time. It's a Mario time! Alright, you dude. Damn, he went. It's all or nothing! Oops. My bad. Didn't mean to. Oopsie poopsie. My Pikachu would actually go hard. I was thinking about that. Someone, someone, I think it was Killing Bat, was like, you should play Pikachu. I'm like, my Pikachu would go so fucking hard, are you kidding me? Plus, my partner plays Pikachu, but like, as a casual. But every time we like play together, I always go Pikachu as well. Just to like, I don't know, because they want me to. That was a good drift. That was a good drift. I was assuming they weren't going to do that. I drank coffee and Arnold Palmer and now strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. All back to back to back. That's probably why my stomach doesn't isn't very happy at me at the moment. I gotta stop eating Taco Bell before I go to tournaments. I really do. Because I'll be playing a set and my stomach is like, damn, you want to die right now. And I'm like, bro, I'm literally trying to clutch a win for top eight right now. You can't be doing this to me, Taco Bell. But I love Taco Bell. And they're so convenient. Because for $2, I can get two burritos off the value menu and eat them while I'm driving. Because burritos are so convenient like that. You can't eat a burger while you're driving as easy as you can eat a burrito while you're driving. You know? You can eat a Crunchwrap Supreme so easily when you're driving. And it's like, you don't even have to fucking worry about that shit. If I had to eat a burger while I was driving, I'd be freaking out, man. It's crazy. You should eat Chick-fil-A instead. I've never eaten a Chick-fil-A in my entire life, and I never plan to. And let me tell you, 
I'm not missing out. If Chick-fil-A wants me to eat at their restaurant, they should uh, change their views on gay people. Then I'll consider it. But until then, they've never seen my money, and they never will. And let me tell you, I'm not missing out. Not only am I not really a big chicken person, I know, right? I'm not a big chicken person. What? That's like unheard of. Chicken's not my favorite meat. And if I ever did want chicken, I'd go to Popeyes. Oh, I'm dead. Back air would have killed. What about raising cans? I've never had raising cans. I know, I know, sacrilegious. But it's also, again, I'm not a big chicken person. If I want to go somewhere, like after a tournament and eat, I usually go to Chipotle because I have an employee discount. And let me tell you, man, I'm a barbacoa lover for life. You'll never get me away from that barbacoa. It's their best meat by far. It's just a shame it costs so much. N typically, if I'm if I'm if I have to pay for it, I typically get veggie actually for free guac. Because their guac is really good. I think Chick-fil-A is better than Raisin Cane's. I never had Cane's. Well, how can you say it's better if you've never had it? What? We go game two, though. Oh, chat. I started a chicken debate in my in my chat. <laughs> I started a chicken debate. Oh, no. I'll do it. If I lose it, I'm going Game & Watch, though. You know what? I'll take that trade. I'd rather have my have a thrown gyro get hit by laser than have me get hit by laser. Laser is pretty big in this game. I just gotta be. I just gotta get much better at um, reflecting. To Reflecting Rob's shit. Stuff. No one can stop me now. I was expecting the laser to come out.
not being careful enough on his shield. Chat. Let's go. Taking a win over a Rob? Hell yeah, dude. Min -min. GG's, GG's. Win. We go next. I... Okay, here's the thing, chat. I cannot promise we will get through everyone in the list today. I cannot promise. The reason we're doing a stream so early is because I have family coming over for lunch later. And they might get here any moment, since it is 12 now. So... You know. like that but David Cart or uh, Zamatron you're next it's 1 p.m. for me okay that's awesome I gotta figure out how to change my name. That's fair enough, yeah. I think it might be like a Google account. Why did they do Onin versus Rap on stream? Why did they do that? <laughs> they had so many other sets they could have picked from. Oh, fuck. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> I'll be counterpicked, I guess. Why not? Fuck it. Three, two, this is gonna go great. One, go! Which way do I SCI? I like Kirby combos. If there's one thing I'm very proud of in my play, it's not getting edge guarded. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I'm really proud in my ability to avoid edge guards a lot of the time. Now I'm not perfect, no one is. But but damn! Did you see how I avoided two Kirby edge guards back to back? Like That shit's impressive! I feel very good about it. I'm dead now. <laughs> None, they'll always hit you. Okay, cool. Ah, I had to read, but I missed the spacing.
That clanks? That's good. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. I was like, I'm gonna just do double smash attack again because I was counting on you getting a uh, shield poked. But the roll between was real nice. This is still an even game. I want I want you all to know this is still an even game. I need to work on those two frames, man. Is the queue open at all? Unfortunately not. We're cramped on time today as it is in terms of getting through everyone in the queue. So unfortunately I closed it a while ago. We've still got like seven people after this. Yeah, no, you're right. I was expecting I was expecting them to chase with like fair in the air. But no, they were waiting for that instead. Um, my god, I almost died. Let's go, me. I was expecting a jump after the first poke, but they went for like up tilt and shit. Yes! Yes! Nice. That's okay, I'll try to come back another day. Alright, that's G7. Hope you have a good day today, man. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I'll, ru I'll run it back. Let's fucking do this shit. This matchup is stressful. This matchup is stressful. Stressful. If I lose it, I'll go get crushed. If I lose this one. But I don't know, because it's it's definitely so very doable. And I think I think Zam's Kirby actually did beat Boopy in squads. Or it might not have been squads. It might have been a crap list. One of the two. That was good, that was good, that was good. I was gonna down air onto the plat, but then the plat started moving. Nice! Yeah, that was my fault, my fault, my fault.
I did a bad up smash. I did a bad one. There we go. I'm dead. Not dead, not dead, not dead, not dead, not dead, not dead. That one was kind of because Zam messed up, though. Not because of my impressing, impressive abilities. Good match. Typically, I try to go for five pummels and then up throw. That was good. Not over yet. I could still take this. Damn, nah, yeah. That was the only time I got an edge guarded that entire the entire set so far. That's crazy. Okay. Oh man. Roll it out. I heard about it. Um I don't know. It depends on what I've got going on this week. I will go Game & Watch for this. The thing... Okay, here's the thing about the... The thing about the Kirby Min Min matchup I hate is actually when Kirby absorbs Min Min. Because at that point, he just becomes better Min Min. And that is annoying to deal with. So Zam clearly wants the Game of Watch ability. Yikes. I didn't mean to neutral get up there. Yeah, no, that's my bad. over till it's over. I could get a nine. I absolutely know what was being went for. But I was like, I'm gonna pray that bomb stops it. And it did that time. It doesn't every time. Yeah, they really don't want this to go last stock. 
gonna fade back. Gonna play more reserved. You're right. Hey, GG's, GG's, GG's. I was better off staying Min Min, but I wanted to try it anyway. Kirby wins. We go next. Nope, that's not the right command. Next. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Ooh, Icy Mist beat Shattuck? Fuck yeah. Bentley's up! Oh my gosh, yeah, they did they did stream. Why did they put pot why did they put Onan and Wrath on stream though? <laughs> Can someone answer me that? <laughs> oh my god, Mr. E beat Suspect? And Suspect beat Tarek? Oh, Syrup made top eight. Oh, there might actually be two Steves in top eight. No, I'm thinking about it. That's fun. Like, I literally don't even think. Like, even then, that's not over centralizing. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Black Twins out at 13th, okay. Damn, Omega out at 13th. Lucky versus Loaf for top eight? God damn. Suspect Shattuck? I'm I'm in for a Shattuck dub on that one. I'm here. All right, let's do this. Ready? Oh, you, you wanted me to go game and watch. I forgot. Sorry, you wanted me to go game and watch. Three, two, one. Oh boy. Go! I forgot about the flag. Ooh, that's rough. Hate to see that. I chat. Is it crazy if I want Bear Stop to actually like do really fucking well? I kind of want Icy Mist though to win that because I'm a bigger fan of Icy Mist. I want them both to make that way. I don't really care how they do it. Flag is really bad. I do like that. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it certainly happened. Side beam? Here? That also works. Alright. Do you want me to swap over to Game and Watch? Or do you want me to stab? Yeah, okay. Choose your fighter, Mr. Game and Watch. Let's do it. That match made it seem like Meta Knight is a good matchup for Min Min. No, it's just like. You, you gotta have a game plan. Plus, Meta Knight, like, I, I just kind of kept him out the whole time. This is one of Sheik's worst matchups, I think.
I think this this makes me think of earlier when Bentley was talking about Meta Knight and Shulk. I think they asked who um, who Min Min's worst was, and then asked who Game and Watch's worst was. But when I saw them go Meta Knight and Shulk, I thought both of them were in reference to Min Min. I'm like, Shulk's not a bad matchup for Min Min, but Sheik is. I think that's... I think that was a little misunderstanding. Because Sheik is actually really good for Game & Watch. I lived. You lived. I saved you. Sorry, man. I can't fight. No problem. If you do exclamation mark leave, you can uh, leave the queue. I'm just going to down air again. Why not? I'm just going to down air again. Why not? I want to get a nine so bad. That kill? Sam. I want to get a nine. The lag is really bad, but you know it'd be like that sometimes. So. Don't the the roll ins were rolling. The only Game & Watch player who pops off for a 9 at like 150. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's go, 9. GG's, GG's. We go next. Got him. <laughs> oh, a Millicat. And then they said they can't fight, so we, we skip them. Which means that Tate is next. I'm assuming for another Ganon ditto. Hey, are you still here? Hey, it's case. On my way for Ganon Dittos? Fuck yeah. Let's go new subs. Let's fucking go. We we will we love taking those. All right, chat. Ah, we're just chilling at the moment. Okay, yeah, Onan beat Wrath, which means we got two Steves, top eight winner side, baby. Ready? Loki. I actually am not upset about that. I think it's fine. I would have preferred Plant in top 8. I really, really, really would have preferred Piranha Plant, but it is what it is. Go. 
Don't know why I keep trying to two -frame. Nice. I gotta make something happen, chat. I gotta make something happen. You're sick! You're ill, bro! Who goes for that? Who goes for that parry there? That's it. Okay, chat. The Ganon Ditto is so fun. Has any Losers 8th set happened yet? Or Losers Top 8 Qualifier? Not yet. Oh, Loaf beat Lucky! No! I wanted Plant in Top 8, damn it! It's okay. I was holding that anger all stream. Well, let's hope you're out of steam now. I can do this reverse sweep. You ready for it? Better be. Coming. The bitch is back. Pop is out. I almost hit a wrister on you. I almost hit reverse nair into bullshit. That's the wrister. Reverse nair into bullshit. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, anyways. Yes! Let's go! Let's do this! Let's go. <laughs> GG's, 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 GG's. Oh my god, I love Ganon Dittos. My god. That's so sick. JP, you're up. Hop on in, JP. Oh my god. I'll get my revenge on you. I'll get, I'll get my revenge. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry, Tate. I'll get my revenge.
That was hype. Probably my favorite ditto in the game. Yeah, it is my favorite ditto in the game, too. Except maybe Kazuya dittos. Kazuya dittos are really funny. JP! JP! Is JP still here? I don't think they are. I'm gonna skip. We go next. I haven't seen JP type anything in chat for a long time, so we're chilling. All snail. We're chilling. Choose your fighter. Man -man. Watching cause diddles are hype, but I will not play it under any circumstance. Fair enough. I, I respect that. Fall snail. I'll Ganon ditto you if you want to. I will Ganon ditto anyone else in the line who wants to Ganon ditto. I'm putting it out there right now. I will Ganon ditto all of you. I'll do it. Who wants it? Careful, he's not on the Ganon right now. He's hot on the Ganon right now. Yes. Okay, let's fucking do this shit. Choose your fighter. Ready? Let's do it, chat. You're looking for a challenge? Or did I say that? I think I said that. I think I said that. I'm going crazy. I'm about to go sicko mode. How did he know? How did he know? Oh my god, he's so sick. He's so sick! Baited! 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 You're gonna lose! <laughs> Don't hit. Don't hit. 
<laughs> Dude, I was so close. Oh my god. You feel your blood pumping now, file snail? You feeling it now? Yes, I do. Stop scaring me. Never. That's the point of my Ganon, is to scare you. Look at me desert my dominance. I should have done Ganon Diddles and said I'm molding, molding. Then mold. I teched that shit. I teched it. I teched it, bro. I'm the demon king here. That would happen. Timed it perfectly. How could this have happened to me? GG's. <laughs> <laughs> we go next. I'm just gonna stay Ganon. Fuck this shit. Fuck Min Min. What have I been doing? Oh, Grayson, you're next. Get in here. I don't even care if you go Ganon. I'm staying Ganon. You're next. Get in here. It's time. How can you dash dance? Because I'm different. I'm built like that, man. That's what I'm saying. Time. <sighs> We're gaming. Go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. You think you can just go Falcon versus me? 
You think that will work? I just took that knee to the face! I took a knee to the face! No flinching! Look at it! Look at that! Man! What can you even say? <laughs> Dude, this character is so fucking fun. Oh, I'm the king of evil. Yeah, I saw that one coming. <laughs> uh, what happened? What happened? What what happened to me? I'm a different person. All right, let's do this. I am, I am not, I am a soft-spoken man, right? However, Ganon, Ganondorf kind of makes me feel a little bit different, huh? Do you see how I went all up close into it and then didn't get hit by it? Because my spacing is a beast? You're right. This is why Ganon is better than Falcon. Yeah, but you won't tech. Hesitation. No remorse. No mercy. You're right. Getting a little too crazy. We go next! Sabi, are you still here? I might actually go game watch, if they are. <laughs> uh, Ganon's too much fun. Ganon's too much fun. I, if, you, if you think I'm not going to go back and clip that kill on Falcon, that last stop, if you think I'm not gonna go clip that after, you're crazy, man. I'm clipping that shit so hard. Vampire Wario goes insane. <laughs> Deranged streamer loses his mind and attacks viewers. <laughs> oh my god. Ganon? Okay, Ganondorf is like the ring of power. I can't wear it for too long or else I'll start going mad. I'll, st I'll start going insane if I wear the ring for too long. <laughs> I don't think Sebi's here, chat. Which means we've only got one more, or maybe that was our last one. That could have been our last one. And honestly, if it was, what a fitting way to close it off. Am I right? 
Soyju, are you here? I don't think Soyju's here, chat. Chat! Choose your fighter! Man. I'm gonna get these Ganon drills at some point. They're so fun. That's going to be it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here. Hope you guys have a great day today. Man, what a fun stream today, huh? God damn. I hope to see you guys next week, but over the course of the week because of my videos and shit. Uh, and with that out of the way, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow. Have a good one. Pleasure to have you guys here. Have a good night, you guys. You glorious bastards. Have a good one.